what's your what what you, what's your attitude here with another off season program? Uh, I feel good. Uh, I was excited this whole off season uh, training um, in California. And just seeing the things that uh, we, we've done, uh, the players that we've brought in, uh, I'm excited, man. Um, it's a new energy in the building. Um, you know, everybody is just building that chemistry right now. The, the players that just got on board, they're, they're bought all in. Uh, I like the energy that they bring into the team. Um, a lot of talent. And uh, right now, just going on day two of workouts, you just see the guys loving it. And uh, you just feel a, a whole new swag about the team. So um, I, I'm excited. Uh, to be a part of it. You played against Tyrod. So, I mean, what did you think when the Browns made that trade to bring him in? I like, I like the move. Uh, with Tyrod, you know, he's a guy that's not going to go out there and, and, and make a lot of mistakes. Um, I think he plays the game well in his mind. Um, and with the weapons that uh, potentially we have uh, on our offense, uh, I think, you know, it'd be great for him. You know, um, he's a guy that's mobile. Um, he rarely turns the ball over. So uh, that's something that's definitely good from a defensive player when you see, you know, quarterback not turning the ball over, you know, it keeps you off the field longer. So um, that's something that's exciting for me. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Tyrod, he, he came in, and uh, you can just tell that he's a leader. And um, I'm excited to see him. Pay attention uh, to all these moves as they were transpiring this offseason. And, and what were you thinking as you were watching the, the headlines, you know, flash across? When I was watching the headlines flash across, I think I was on Twitter more than anybody, um, writing, saying like how excited I am uh, for the new players, um, um, excited about what Coach Hugh, uh, John Dorsey, and this organization is doing. Um, and I'm just glad to be a part of something special. And I'm sorry about that. And, um, you know, Coach Hugh, one thing that he told me, you know, after last season was, you know, we would never have this feeling again. And seeing the moves that we made tells me that we were working on something special. And for me to be, you know, here my whole career and <clears throat> the things that we, we went through um, as an organization my whole career, uh, I'm a man of faith and I feel like this year is really going to be something special for us. And just seeing all the moves is, is just getting me excited, uh, getting me fired up. Um, I'm not saying it's a new fire in me, but it's just, you know, even more. And I'm just excited to see, you know, this season get rolling. You really have some continuity, which you haven't had a lot of on defense. So just talk about what, what the next step in this defense could be. You know, we got a lot of talented players uh, on this roster. If you look at, you know, guys from last year, uh, rookies, you know, they got one year under their belt. Um, so they're getting more and more comfortable. Uh, we brought in players that can come in and compete. Um, I think this training camp is probably going to be one of the competitive training camps uh, I've been a part of, just because we have so so much depth and talent, um, especially with our younger guys. And I think that our younger guys did an awesome job last year with you know getting in there, getting in the fire, uh, playing at an early age, and starting to understand the game more and more. And just being in the classroom uh, right now, you can understand that you know people are more. Uh, understanding of our playbook, more understanding of, you know, the NFL and just some of the older guys on the team, you know, uh, we're, we're trying to push everybody. Uh, competition is good. Competition is something that we need because um, that'll put the best players on the team. So uh, for this year, uh, I think that that competition level will rise and, you know, just build a, a, a better team. And I'm just excited for it. Marius Randall, and then you know, obviously Jabril can move, and then all, like three corners have been added. Yeah. Um, how much difference you can find? Uh, like I said, um, it's a lot of depth. Um, you never can have uh, enough DBs, in my opinion, uh, especially with the way the league is changing. Uh, we have a lot of dominant receivers, dominant tight ends, and a lot of running backs coming out the backfield that can, you know, guys like Duke. For example, who can you know flex out and become like a right receiver? So the more DBs you have, the better. And I feel that just adding that depth, you know, it can give guys a breather if they're tired, and you have another guy come in and you know do his job well, and you know so you can do a lot of different 
uh, defensive styles, you know, have this guy on the field on this package, this guy on the field on that package. So when you have a lot of DBs and a lot of depth like that, you can do more and more. And um, I think that's something that Greg loves. Um, if you look at his track record, you know, he, he's, he's played with a lot of great DBs. So um, I think that would be something good for our defense. How much attention do you pay to the build up to the draft? Do you look at my drafts and stuff like that? Uh, nah, I don't. That's something I really don't uh, pay attention to. Um, is you know, I, I understand that we have the first pick and, you know, the fourth pick, but um, that's out of my hands. I don't really get into that. Um, you know, I'm just, you know, hoping that we do get the right picks, but I don't really pay attention too much about it. I mean, for, for me, being a defensive guy, you always want, you know, extra defensive players, but uh, I'm, I'm just hoping that we get, you know, the right players to come in and you know, buy into the program and uh, help us out where it need be. So, um, and I know that, you know, John Dorsey and the rest of the staff, uh, you know, would do that. So um, I let, I leave that to them. I have no say so in anything at all. And, uh, you know, I just hope that we get the right players. Did you pay attention to mock drafts the year you were coming out? Of course, yeah. <laughs> of course. Uh, I mean, w w when you're in the draft, it's you know it's a, it's a different story, especially when you ha you've played with those guys in your class. So you you you're always you know comparing, especially if you're a competitor. Um, that's just something that's in your nature. Uh, you know, you you trying to watch where where guys go, who go where, and things like that. And obviously, you know, hoping to see where you're going to end up. So I paid attention to it a little bit when I came out. Chris, the, the Browns have added. New players at every position but linebacker. Have you taken note of that? What do you make of that? Um, you know, hopefully they have faith in us, um, and that seems to be what it looks like. Uh, you know, we have a great, great room uh, from Jamie Collins being the oldest guy to I think B.J. Bello being the youngest guy. Uh, we have a lot of a lot of depth and a lot of a lot of talent in that room, and. Um, you know, you never know what happens in a draft. Maybe we a draft linebacker. Who who knows? So, uh, but as of right now, you know, I love the group of guys that's in that room. Uh, our our linebacker coach uh, Blake, you know, he's doing an extremely well job with um, our younger guys and myself and Jamie. So um, it does kind of make you feel good a little bit, you know, to understand that you know they they have trust in our group. But uh, like I said, the draft's coming up. You never know, you know, what's gonna happen. But um, you can always add depth to to uh, a linebacker. You know, you always need guys in and out of rotation. So, um, but I feel good about the guys that's in our room. If they, if they add more pass rush, if they, you know, next week get a pass rush, mm -hmm. with what you already have there, what do you think that would look like? I think that it would be nasty, you know, um, with Emmanuel Agba, Miles Garrett, you know, uh, guys like that that can, you know, pass rush, uh, get to the quarterback, you know, added another player, you know, that's that's dominant, you know. Um, and that's that's something that, you know, as a linebacker, you always want pass rushes. So, um, you know, that that would be something that's fun. But, um, you know, anybody that comes to the defense, you know, it's our job as a, a defensive unit to just, you know, bring them into the program, let them know the culture, um, make them feel comfortable, but let them understand that, you know, this is the way we do things, this is how we do things. and. Uh, just welcome to the family. How's, uh, how's Garrett uh, <clears throat> looking and what kind of vibe do you get from him? What do you expect from him? Miles is Miles. Um, one thing about Miles, he hasn't changed. Uh, he's been the same person since you drafted him. He's been the same person now. Uh, high energy guy, you know, on the field when he's working out, you know, uh, we just, you know, ran a, a, a little bit and he's in tip top shape. <laughs> Uh, you know, so Miles is going to give you everything that he has. And, um, you know, that's what a first round pick looked like. And I'm just excited to have him on board. Uh, second year under his belt. Well, going into his second year, uh, one year under his belt. So I'm excited to see him evolve into the player that we all know he can be.